Oh 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I look back a year ago, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I have to love Him more than everything, anything in this world. God, you come first. Because I cannot do it without you. Hallelujah. I just felt that, that praise in my spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, can we just give him a last praise? An everlasting praise. Can we commit to giving him a praise in the midst of it all? Praise God. Praise God. You can be seated if you will. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Man, a whole year. I was reflecting on it yesterday and I turned to junior missionary DeAndre and I was like, man, a year and a half ago, did you expect to be where you are? Praise God. And God has definitely kept us in his grace and his spirit. He's definitely have a hand on us and I give thanks for the shepherd just moving when God spoke. Praise God. Pastor, I feel it in my spirit to say, you don't know how many lives are going to be saved through this ministry. And I praise God for even just saving my life at a time of confusion. Hallelujah. Some people don't speak and don't want to speak it, but I will put it forth. I give thanks for your spirit, for your heed, for your listening to God. Praise God. I am only here for the announcements. <laughs> but we never know where God's going to take us. Praise God. I just want to tell everybody, welcome to Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries. Praise God. We would like to take this moment out to thank each and every one that is here. Our friends and our family, those who are on our live stream. We do not take you for granted. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise God. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor Brown Smith and Deacon Smith, we hope you do not leave the same way that you came in. Praise God. Here is our announcements for August 29th, 2021. Praise God. With our region now in phase three, we are allowed to be at capacity as long as social distancing is maintained. And we are encouraging those in the building, if you can't wear your mask, and just adhere by the restrictions and the distancing policies. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Reminder of our live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. We would like everyone that is live streaming to, praise God, sorry. We would like everyone to go on our social media pages. We currently have Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So we're asking those who can share the stream on Facebook and YouTube, please do so. Our Twitter is Grace Deliver Men. Our Instagram is Grace Deliverance. And our Facebook and YouTube is our full name, Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries. Praise God. So we're just encouraging everyone to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And those are the platforms that you can get all notifications of services, our Bible studies, our prayers, um, any information that Grace is putting out, you should be able to get it on our social media platforms. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Online prayer. Can we give it up for online prayer? Praise God. We are moving forward this week with our online prayer through Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. sharp, and I believe it is live on our Facebook and our YouTube. For those who would like to put in a prayer request prior before prayer, feel free to reach out to our pastor, our deacon. Praise God through our email at gracedeliverancemen at gmail.com, or feel free to just join on one of our platforms in the morning and put it in our chat, and we will be mixed we will make sure to put in a special prayer for you. Amen. Bible study. There will be no Bible study this week, but we will uh, follow up with new dates moving forward. Amen. Praise God. Can we give it up for yesterday? Praise God. Yesterday's service, our installation and dedication service. 
praise God. We would like to thank all those who came out last night to make our installation, dedication, and anniversary service a success. Praise God. Praise God. It was definitely a time in the Lord. It was a time in the Lord, and I believe the sermon that went forth was stay the course. No matter what it is, no matter what things seem unsure, no matter if you're not feeling right, stay the course, and God will definitely show you the way and keep you. Praise God. For those members who were not at our dedication service last night, we will be having the Right Hand of Fellowship for those as well new members on Sunday, September the 12th. So just feel free if you have any questions um, and, you have, and you need to know any more information, feel free to reach out to our pastor um, and she will be able to get all the information to you. Praise God. Also, we will be having our outreach um, event on Saturday, September 18th. We will be meeting at the church, which is here, 46th Dean Street at noon, as we will be handing out pamphlets and we'll be hitting the roads for souls. Praise God. So we are outreaching, doing a little outreaching, letting the community know that we are here and we are here to assist and help in any way that we can. Praise God. Praise God. That comes to the end of our announcements. Praise God. As we continue to save lives by grace for the kingdom. At this time, we are going to move into our offering segment and I'm going to call back Junior Missionary DeAndre Jarrett to lead us into that. Praise God. Praise God, praise God. As we move into our offering segment, I just want to remind all of you that if you'd like to give, praise God, and you don't have any, I want to say cash on you, we do accept e-transfer, PayPal, check. Our check can be written out to Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries, um, and our, in, our e-transfer is Grace Deliverance Min at gmail.com. Praise God. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Praise God. Come on and bless the Lord with me as we have our offering segment. Praise God. Come on and bless the Lord with me.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and all that you are about to do, Lord God. As we're praying here over this offering, we ask, Lord God, that you will increase, Lord God. Increase, Lord God, as the, your members come and your saints have come to give it an offering, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you multiply, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you keep them in with you, Lord God, as we keep them in our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to hand over our service to our pastor, Pastor Brown Smith. Come on, give her a round of applause and a praise.
And this afternoon, I just want to tell you how proud I am of you. You have touched my life in a short period of time. And I'm so grateful to see the humbleness in you, the love that she has for the people of God. She's always willing, ready, and able to help. And I go on the prayer line in the morning and it touched me to see people put out requests. And I see God working miracles, unspeakable miracles in their life. I remember one morning this lady put out a comment that she had nowhere to live. And I see right away you respond so speedily to try to help someone that you don't even know all the way in another country. And that really touches my heart. And I just want to say that I'm proud of you. And I pray that God will continue to bless you, bless your ministry, bless Deacon and your family, that you will never be in lack of any good things. Ephesians 4 said, we can do all things to Christ who strengthens you. And I pronounce a blessing upon your life. The word of God said, we two or three of heaven. Come on, our master. He's there. Continue, look to God. Continue, love people. Continue, reach out. Because it's a great grace are we saved. Mama, Mama, sir, Jesus. Continue. Reach and touch people. I see so many people like you touch. My co-worker, you touch her life. And all the people that she brings on the prayer line in the morning. And it's because of your faithfulness, your humbleness. And I love you. And I pray God blessing upon you. I could go on and on, but I have to turn it over back. And I pray that the peace of God will always be upon your life. Never change. Never change. Continue loving people. Because it's the love that you have for people. That's why they're going to be saved. True faith. Praise God. Love you all. Thank you, Lord. I had no idea. Put your hands together for Sister Joan. No idea she had all that to say. But God bless you. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you oh, so God much. God. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for your support, man. Yeah. Give God the praise. We give God the praise. By God, we give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Good to see you, Sister Michelle. God bless you. So good to have you and Ethan. I pray that you find a home. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. This is our anniversary service, and today I have some appointments to make. In the kingdom of God, praise the Lord. This is our first appointment uh, to GDAM, and I thank God for these members. Amen. I see Pastor Sterling coming on in. Praise the Lord. Greetings, Pastor Sterling. Evangelist Myers, praise the Lord. Amen. She always on the prayer line. Amen. With us. Amen. Uh, um, Pastor, I may ask you to help with uh, the uh, dedication and the prayer. Amen. Over the, the people when we get to that uh, area. Praise the Lord. So this is our first appointment at G Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries. And I thank God for the, these members. Some have been here since the inception of the ministry. And others have been transplanted here by God. But they have been working faithfully. And I believe that there is a place where they can join our leadership team to work alongside myself and Deacon Smith. So this afternoon, this is our consecration service and appointments. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in his presence, we are here as the body of Christ to choose and select from our brethren, brothers, and sisters to be appointed and consecrated to respective sacred offices to serve the body of Christ. But more importantly, Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. And in as much as this solemn act involves mutual obligations, I call upon each of us to unite in a spirit of covenant and dedication. The occasion. The consecration of a brother or sister is a holy minister, ministry of Christ. It is one of the most solemn and sacred events in his or her life. It is certainly a very important and memorable occasion that must not, that must not be taken lightly but must be acknowledged as a divine call by God into ministry. All of us as Christians are called to develop God-given talents and to make most of our lives and to develop to the fullest our God-given power and capacities. Everyone that is called into ministry of Christ should exemplify a meek spirit, be of good and godly conversation, and be able to exercise his or her ministry duly to the glory and honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. And to edify the church, which is the bride of Christ. True greatness in leadership is found in giving ourselves in service to others, not inducing or coaxing others to serve us. Jesus instructed his disciples in Mark 10, verse 42, but Jesus called to them and said unto them, ye know that which are accounted to rule over them Gentiles. Exercise lordship over them and exercise authority upon them. Today, some of our sisters and brother will be appointed and consecrated in Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministry. This elevation is not to benefit, and it was spoken over me yesterday, it's not here to benefit self-proclamation or ecclesiastical separation, but it's a call to support and work with our pastor, board of officers, the members, and all that finds this ministry to be their spiritual home. Their elevation is for the spreading of the gospel of Christ and growth of the member of the body of Christ. All those in the ministry are expected to show the utmost respect for our leader, for the people they work with, but mostly important, the office into which they are appointed and consecrated. This afternoon, we will be appointing the following individuals into their respective offices. The appointment will be for a minimum of one year by which after they will be fully charged into office. I will ask them to step forward. Please make sure to put on our mask as you come forward. Amen. After which we will anoint them with oil. Amen. Which we will pray a consecration prayer. And after the interim period, they will be tested, charged, and certified into their respective offices. Today, these are our appointees. This young lady has been with us since the inception of Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministry. She serves in the administration department and is one of our praise and worship leader. She is a worshiper and brings excellence to the ministry. I call forward junior missionary Jackie Dyer Turner to be consecrated as a missionary. ministry. She serves as our executive director where she oversees several ministries. She's one of our praise and worship leaders 
and has been an astounding, excellent worker and is a gift to this ministry. I call forward junior missionary Deonta Jarrett to be consecrated as a missionary. This individual came to G Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministry in June, but one would think she has been with us for a long time. She came into the ministry and has hit the road running. She is a worshiper, preacher, altar worker, and is willing to serve in all capacities. I call forward missionary Terri Ann Allen to be consecrated as an evangelist. since the inception of Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministry and is a pillar of this ministry. He serves the ministry as a leader in all aspects. He works alongside me in the ministry and is an excellent example of a husband, father, serves well as a counselor, a teacher, head deacon, prayer warrior. He is a worker for the kingdom and he is a prophet to the nation. I call forward Deacon Darren A. Smith to be consecrated as an elder. When Jesus chose leaders, he didn't choose from those who were popular. He chose from those who were workers. Amen. Today, after careful observation, you are being chosen to support your pastor and work alongside myself in the kingdom of God. Your appointment is not to make you superior over people of the church. You must cultivate people, not use them. You must seek to develop them and not direct them. You must seek to encourage them, not criticize them. You must seek to be ready to take criticism and face opposition. You must maintain self-control when things go wrong. Do not depend on the praise of others, my God, to keep you working faithfully for the kingdom. But endeavor to turn your disappointments into creativity, in creativity. Uh, amen, as you, uh, Continue to work as the pastor with the opportunity with the pastor of Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries. I want to personally congratulate everyone for being selected in your appointment this afternoon. Ephesians 4 7 verse 12 says, But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he said, When he ascended up on high, he led captivities captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he has also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He hath descended in the same also that ascended up far from the heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. This afternoon, you're going to be anointed, yoked with the anointing of God. I will put a towel around your neck. Amen, we're going to pray. Amen, and then we will remove it and pronounce a blessing upon your life. Anointing.
worship the Lord. So we worship the Lord. God is good at all the time. I'm so glad today we serve a big, mighty, wonderful God. In spite of the pandemic, the church is growing. Praise God. Warriors are appointed to go out in the battlefield. But we thank God. What a great pastor I see from Darcy and Deacon Smith and all the appointees and the rest of the congregation. God bless you. Paul instructs Timothy that he should ordain elders in every city. Yes. And thank God that you catch the vision and your eyes are not blurry. You're running with it. Hallelujah. We got to do what you're doing. Amen. Praise God. Eternal God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Bishop of our soul, the God of our salvation, the Lily of the Valley, the Bride as Morning Star, the I am that I am, the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah, the offspring of David, I prevail. Father God, these are your daughters and your sons. They stand before you as instruments of righteousness. I pray today, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, that the anointing will rest up in them. I pray, Lord God, Heavenly Father, as they are appointed at this time, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that their lives, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, will speak for them. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that they will equip, O oh God Almighty, with the necessary tools that are needed, O oh God. Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that they will be, Lord God Almighty, oh God, mighty warriors for you. I pray today, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, it's a new day, a day which they have never seen before. And I pray right now, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, that the power of the Holy Ghost may rest upon them. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, that wherever they go, whatever they do, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, that you will be in the midst. Yeah. Oh, God, we bind them with the force of darkness that may rise up against them. Lord, God, we bind every thumb, Lord Jesus Christ, that they will speak. Oh, God, well, we pray right now, Lord God, that you will take control. Oh, God, I pray, Lord God, that you will hide them under your blood. Oh, God, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, that you will build a fence around them. Oh, God Almighty, I pray, Lord God Almighty, that they will be effective ministry. Oh, God, they will, God, and your son will be a very effective elder. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, God, we unleash the power of God upon them right now. Oh, God, grace deliverance ministry is in the city, Lord God Almighty. And the light of great deliverance ministry shall shine in the city of Brompton. All over, Lord God Almighty. If it's the right time we need men and women to stand for God, it's now. In the name of Jesus. Bless them, Lord God. And continue to bring the vision of your daughter. Oh, God Almighty, as she tried. Oh, God Almighty, bring it all high places. Oh, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, these servants of yours. Oh God Almighty, when the devil see them coming, oh God Almighty, they will see fire. They will see power. They will see authority in the name of Jesus. Father God and the Father, declare up in them right now, Lord God Almighty, strength from day to day in the name of Jesus. They are more than conquerors. Oh God, through you that love them, oh God. Bless them right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
oh God, to declare them blessed right now. In Jesus' name. announcements. Amen. I'm here just to hand out our member certificate for all those that were with us last night. For those who were not with us last night, we will be having a right hand of fellowship for everyone else. That will be September the 12th. Amen. Where we will do the same charge uh, to you and then you will receive your certificate. Praise the Lord. So Sister Jack, uh, Missionary Jack, he Amen. Just come quickly. Let's get your membership. They were consecrated, dedicated last night at our service. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Javera. Praise the Lord. Did a wonderful job last night. Put your hands together. Praise God. And Evangelist Terry Ann Allen. Praise the Lord. Praise God, praise God. Omar Bird, Brother Omar Bird, praise the Lord. Deacon Smith, your, I mean, Elder Smith. Praise the Lord, Elder Smith. Our cameraman, Brother Omar Sherrod. Praise God, worker, worker, worker. Praise the Lord. Sienna. Walcott, Angelique, Walcott, Beyond, Missionary Beyond, you can just hand the rest of them out. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you would just stay with us, stay with us, the preacher is coming. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless praise you, everyone. Lord. Come on, let's, let's praise the atmosphere. I am tremendously excited. My God, God is good. Amen. Uh, God has, when I was, uh, uh, working on the um, the program for this weekend, and we were thinking of speakers. Of course, we had our diocesan bishop. What a wonderful, wonderful, amen message he brought and dedication service last night. Let's put our hands together for our bishop in his absence, amen, of Kingdom Life Ministry for the CDC, amen, the Canada District Council. Praise God. Amen. And then when we were putting it together, amen, we were thinking, we knew that we wanted someone from our home to uh, bring the word of God for tonight, for this afternoon. I am so honored and privileged to have 
this wonderful woman of God come to speak with us today. Amen. She is, a, like I mentioned, she's a worshiper. She does not say no. She Anywhere that she fit, finds herself uh, to help with or to do, she does not say no. And so I thank God for her spirit. I thank God that she took the leap of faith. My God. Amen. She has been a blessing to this ministry. My brothers and my sisters, it is time for the word. I want to present to you. Everybody stand as we present and bring the woman of God to us today. Amen. At this time, for the first time, we bring to you Evangelist Terry and Alan to the church. Greet her with a hallelujah. Tonight, mercy. 
Rescue you, rescue me. Ah, Shandu. I sat in something for six years. And I prayed. Because I didn't want to just step out of the house of God. I sought the Lord. I said, Lord, I want to serve you. You have called me. And you have placed your anointing upon me. I don't believe in sitting down in church. And I prayed because I'm not quick to move. Hallelujah. Yes. During this pandemic, I prayed even harder. And the Lord came true. And everything that the Lord has done, she's a witness to know that it is God that did the trance. Oh God, the transition. And so I honor you, woman of God. Hallelujah. And your wonderful husband, Deacon Smith. I bless you. Hallelujah. And I greet my comrades. Yes. In fact, missionary Deandra. Yes. Missionary Jackie. Yes. I'm here just to work with you. Yes. That's all I'm here to work with you. Amen. You are my fellow comrade. Together we're going for it. So as I watch your back, you watch mine. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. I greet the musician. Yes. Praise the Lord God. And I greet all God's wonderful people. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. I really don't like the pulpit, but just pray with me. Praise the Lord God. That, that which the Lord has given to me, that I will bring it forward. Praise the Lord. Please stand with me as I read. Praise the Lord God. I believe Bishop Barrington Smith went right into... Praise the Lord God, what the Lord has given unto me. So if you could just turn your Bible with me to the book of Nehemiah chapter 4. From verse 1, we're going to read on to verse 9. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 1 and to verse 9. And I will begin. But it came to pass that when Sambalak heard that we builded the wall, he was wrought and took great indignation and mocked Jews. And he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which were burnt? Now Tobiah and the Ammonites was by him. And he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. But hear, O our God, 
for we are despised. Turn their reproach upon their own head. Give them for a prey in the land of captivity. Cover not their iniquity. And let not their sin be blocked out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So build we the wall. And all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. For the people had a mind to work. But it came to pass that when Sambalak and Tobiah and the Arabian and the Ammonites and the Ashtadite heard the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, they were very wrought and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and we set a watch against them day and night because of them. Let's bow our heads. Eternal Father, I come, Lord God, just as you have deposited my spirit, I release to your people. Lord Jesus, you already confirmed your words to Bishop Barrington Smith. We thank you that you are God, that you always confirm. You always confirm to your prophet, to your people, Lord Jesus. And so we thank you. I pray, God, just as you have deposited me, that you will, oh God, anoint my lips to speak exactly as you have given it unto me. Oh God, cover me with the spirit of boldness. Stand with me. Stand inside of me. Lord God, let me tarry and decrease. And Lord God, let your spirit reign within me. Let the heart of your people be edified. Oh God, when we leave the sanctuary, God, we go and ponder on your word and we make the necessary change. Lord God, for time is short. The signs, nature is speaking to us that the time is near and we are to buckle up and gird up our loins. Ah, oh God, as we give you thanks. Bless your people as we honor you and we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. I need praise the Lord God for you just to declare, praise God, this theme. Just turn to your neighbor and says, neighbor, build in spite of the opposition. Turn to your neighbor and say, my good neighbor, God said to build in spite of the opposition. Now you better top yourself and say, I'm building, I'm building in spite of the opposition. And take your seat. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord God. No one likes opposition. Yet as Christians, we must face the fact that this will be a real part of life at times. Why does God allow opposition in our lives? What purpose does God see in our struggle with opposition? God usually help us in one of two ways when opposition strike us. Yeah. He shield us from the terrible storm or he may have face, allow us to face it directly. Yeah. In either case, he is trying to teach us to hold on to him. My brothers and sisters, the word of God encourages us that in any type of opposition, praise the Lord God, God promised to be with us in his present will. And his present will will enable us to survive any type of opposition. In fact, not only survive it, but actually continue to grow in spite of it. Praise the Lord Jesus. It was Ray Stadman who stated, most of us have had experience with what is called the Murphy Law. The idea that if anything could go wrong, it will. Therefore, at, therefore are many applications of it. For instance, if you try to fix something, Murphy Law says it will take longer than you anticipated. And it will cost more than you expected. It will break down before you pay for it. And yes. someone will not like it when it is done. Praise the Lord God. We have come to such a circumstances. Yes. Praise the Lord God in the book of Nehemiah chapter 4. So here we have Nehemiah. Yes. Praise the Lord God. A cup bearer. Praise the Lord God, a man of God. Praise God. Who was right hand to King Ahasuerus. 
Praise God. He was not, uh, he was just a layman. A, a layman basically is a person who is not a member of the clergy. So Nehemiah was not popular. He was not a pastor. He was not a leader. But he served the Persian king in secular position before leading a group of Jews to Jerusalem in order to rebuild the walls. Nehemiah's expertise in the king's court equipped him adequately for the political and physical reconstruction necessary for the red men to survive. Praise the Lord God. So we have here, praise God, because him, because Nehemiah found favor, praise God, with the king. Praise God, King Ahasuerus. Praise the Lord God. So King Ahasuerus, praise God, I gave him, praise God, the permission to go back to Jerusalem. Praise God, and to rebuild the wall. Praise God, but we have to understand, praise God, that Nehemiah did not just went on his own. Praise the Lord God. It was God, praise God, that praise God orchestrate, praise God, Nehemiah. That was Nehemiah's purpose. That was his position. Praise the Lord God. That was his call to go back and rebuild the walls. Praise God. Ezra was called to rebuild the temple. Praise the Lord God. What is God saying? God strategically position us in the kingdom. Praise God. You, praise God, is responsible for this. I am responsible for, for that. Praise God. And if we carry out our duty, everything will go according to the purpose of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we have here, praise God, Nehemiah. Praise God. He was deeply troubled in his spirit. When he looked and he saw the condition, the walls that had been torn down. And even though, praise God, the temple was rebuilt, praise God, the walls were destroyed. And if we know walls is protection, praise God, so there was no protection. Anybody could go in, praise the Lord Jesus. And God wants us to rebuild, praise God, the walls. Praise God, the walls, praise God, of our spiritual lives. Rebuild our prayer life, praise the Lord Jesus. Rebuild, praise God, fasting and prayer, praise the Lord Jesus. So here, praise God, we have Nehemiah. Nehemiah set out with a group of people, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord God, and so as Nehemiah set out to rebuild, praise God, Nehemiah come up against opposition. Praise the Lord Jesus. God wants his people, praise the Lord Jesus, to understand when you're building, praise God, when you're doing the work of the Lord, praise God, you're going to come up against opposition. I heard Pastor Barrington encourage our pastor last night to stay the course, praise the Lord God. And God gave me a word, praise God, to encourage, praise God, the leader of this assembly and encourage our, myself, praise the Lord Jesus, that keep on Position. We see Sangalan and Tobias. They came, praise God, against the man of God. They came, praise God, with a purpose to hinder the work of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. But how many of us know that if God called you to it, He's going to equip you for it and He's going to anoint you, praise God, to accomplish His task. Praise the Lord Jesus. So praise the Lord God, Nehemiah. Praise God, never get perturbed in his spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus. They begin to mock Nehemiah. They begin to criticize. Praise God, they begin to talk about Nehemiah. And they begin to say all manner of things. They begin to laugh at Nehemiah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Don't be discouraged. Praise God, when you people laugh at you. Oh God, Judah missionaries, you're going to face it. Oh God, people are going to talk about you. People are going to criticize you. But I'm here to encourage you to stay the course. Be in spite of opposition. Praise God, they may say, you think that you're all that. Praise God, they may think that you think that you can do it. But continue, oh God, to be in spite of persecution. Oh God Almighty, if God has equipped you and called you, praise God, to the office of a missionary, God will back you. Praise the Lord Jesus. And that's the confidence we have to go for it. Praise the Lord Jesus. Trust in our God. Praise the Lord Jesus. So as they begin to conspire, and they begin to do all manner of things against Nehemiah and the Jews, praise the Lord Jesus. Nehemiah in verse 4 said, Hear all our God, for we are despised, and turn, O oh God, their reproach upon their own head. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that which a man sow, that he shall reap. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Christ. So praise God, Nehemiah, praise God. He understood who called him. He know, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, that it was God who called him for this assignment. Praise the Lord Jesus. And it doesn't matter what rich, it doesn't matter what human not spirit, it doesn't matter what foul of the ill. If God has called you, and God has ordained you, and God has anointed you, no devil, no demon, no black magic, no necromancy can take out you. Stand up and fight. Fight the good fight of it. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. So Nehemiah and Tobiah, they keep on plotting and they conspire. Praise the Lord God to fight. Praise the Lord Jesus against Nehemiah. Praise the Lord God in verse 9. Praise the Lord. Nehemiah said, Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God. And we set a watch day and night because of them. Praise the Lord God. So Nehemiah, praise the Lord God. He didn't go into this thing naive. We can't be naive as children of God. Praise the Lord God. While they were building, praise God, the Bible said, praise God, they have their sword in one hand. And they're building. You are building, but keep an eye out. Be on the alert. Precious Shatala Masia. Be on the alert. Ah, Koto Shandala Messiah. Nehemiah, praise the Lord God, made the prayer before his God. Hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus. And as we move on, praise God. We see, praise God, as they begin to plot. Praise the Lord God. Nehemiah just go before his God. And he spread out. God wants us, praise God, and his people. Praise the Lord God. Not to take matters into our own hand. Praise God, because we don't more, do more damage than good. Praise God, but just stay at the feet of Jesus. And pray, praise the Lord Jesus. And watch God turn the situation around. Praise God, we know, praise God, against Jehoshaphat. All Jehoshaphat did was just to send up Judah. Jehoshaphat didn't have to fight. They just praise God. And God allowed the enemy to turn on themselves. Praise the Lord Jesus. So praise God, Nehemiah, praise God. He just went and he just supplicated and he prayed. Praise the Lord Jesus. And as he prayed, praise the Lord God. God revealed to Nehemiah what the enemy was plotting against him. Ah, oh God, don't you know that? Praise God, God can hear. Praise the Lord Jesus. Don't we know that God sees all things? Praise the Lord Jesus. Nehemiah didn't have to do anything. But when you are connected to God, oh God, when you're walking in His will, not that you're perfect, but you're doing your best to serve Him. Oh God, God will expose the plan of the enemy. And you have to be, praise God Almighty, you have to be humble enough. Oh God, that when God will feel, you have to know how to behave. David, the Bible said, behave himself smartly. Because he knew that Saul was after to kill him. Ah, Shanda, the Messiah. Ah, Kata, Shanda. Verse 15, and it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us. And our God brought their counsel to naught that we return all of us to the wall, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that half of my servant wrought in the work, and the other half of them held the spears, praise the Lord Jesus, shields and bows and halberdiers, and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. They which build on the wall, and they that bear burdens. So you have some that were set to bear the burden. Some were set to be watchmen in the spirit. To see when the enemy is shooting up his head. Yeah. To come against the people of God. Yeah. Praise the Lord Jesus. So he set them in different positions. But praise the Lord Jesus. They had their sword with them to fight. They were ready that when the enemy comes. They pull their sword. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. What is God saying? Oh God. If we understand Nehemiah. Nehemiah, when he went, when he went, praise the Lord God. When he knew he had to rebuild the wall, he did not just drop like that. He surveyed the land. Ah, oh God, he switched out his environment. Ah, 
Koto Shanda la Messiah. You have to switch out your things. Praise the Lord Jesus. And allow God to speak to you. Praise the Lord Jesus. So as they were there, praise God, verse, verse 18. For the builders, everyone has his sword girt by his side. And so builded. And he that sold the trumpet. Praise the Lord Jesus. So every one of them had a mind to work. Yes. Praise the Lord. And every one of them had their sword ready to fight. Praise the Lord Jesus. And there was somebody that was standing. Praise the Lord to blow the trumpet. So when the enemy was coming, they could come together. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord God. And attack the enemy. Praise the Lord Jesus. So praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord God. God, praise God. God knows what he's doing. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nehemiah didn't have to lift a finger. Nehemiah just had to do what the Lord said to do. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nehemiah didn't let the opposition. He didn't let what he was facing. Praise the Lord Jesus. Detour him from, oh God, from the call that God has placed on his life. Praise the Lord God. You ready for me, musician? I'm going to land this play now. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord God. Praise God. Keep on building. Oh God, keep on working. Praise the Lord. Keep on doing what God called you to do. Don't fear of God what the nation has to say. Praise the Lord God. Keep on fighting. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. Keep on building. Keep on building. Live for God. Leave the body in his hands. Watch God man. Watch God man. Watch God overcome the enemy. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord God. And we see in the end, praise the Lord God. That praise the Lord God because God was with them. Praise the Lord Jesus. The walls, praise God. Oh God, come to a completion. Praise the Lord Jesus. That's the God I serve. I have proven him time and time again. Praise the Lord Jesus. You can say, Sister Terry, and talk all you want. Praise the Lord Jesus. But I watch God. I trust him and I watch him move. Praise the Lord Jesus. I didn't have to lift a finger. I didn't have to fight back. Praise the Lord God. I just stay in prayer. I said, God, hear my cry. And I'm dead up. Give me my prayer. When my heart is on the way. Lead me. Jesus. The rock is a sure foundation. Oh God, in the rock you will find refuge. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we honor the Spirit of God and we thank Him. Praise the Lord Jesus that He will never leave and He will never forsake His people. May you pray for me. It's my desire. Oh, and I make a vow that I will keep on building in spite of being to do so much. Too much to turn back. Too much opposition. Too much a shadow. Too much to fail him. Too much to quit on him. Too much to give up on him. Too much to stop building. Too much to turn my back. Too much. Pick me up. Turn me around. Plant my feet. Higher go. Higher go. Higher go.
Yeah. 